301 terabytes per second over fiber. Uh, in partnership with the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology in Japan and Nokia Bell Labs in the U.S., Aston researchers were able to transfer data at 301 million megabits per second using standard optical fiber. Um, now, this is interesting because because the, the thing here isn't that they were able to transmit a whole bunch of data. It was that they were able to transmit a whole bunch of data over existing fiber. To me, that was pretty cool. Now, the way that they did it, that's the big question, right? Alongside the commercially available C and L bands, they used additional spec additional spectral bands called the E band and the S band. Now, those bands traditionally haven't been required because the C and L bands were perfectly capable of providing all of the capacity that consumers need. Well, now that they opened these up, it was pretty interesting. It's remarkable. It does not require new infrastructure to drastically improve internet speeds and could allow significantly faster internet speeds through existing fibers. And they did it by trans transmitting different colored light, you know, frequencies. That's all this is, just multiple frequencies. And so they found these other frequencies that they pushed across. They hit 301 uh, TB per second. What? 